What's up guys, Erroneous here with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today's video, we're going to be in Live Arena, and we are actually going to be testing none other than the new champion I pulled on my free-to-play account, my second ever Void Legendary champion that I pulled from a shard in three and a half years, Little Miss Annie. Wow. Okay, so I will say, first off, she's not in Lethal or Savage. She is in one Cruel set. That's it but she still has pretty decent stats. Nothing to shake a stick at. 6,900 attack, 185 speed, 248 crit damage. Of course, we've got to hit that 100% crit rate or else it's just not even worth it in arena. Now, live arena, personally, I feel like I need a lot more speed just in general. Any single target damage dealer that you have, especially Rodos, a lot of people that are in the top end or top echelon of Live Arena are going to be running Rodos at about 220 to 260 speed. So you need them to be fast, right? You can't have them go too slow. If they're too slow, you just won't take enough turns and more than likely you're going to lose because a lot of people in Silver 2, Silver 3 of Live Arena will just run speed teams. Even in the upper echelons of arena, live arena in general, people just run speed teams. So if you don't have people like Tormin or even people like uh, a Valkyrie, it's just not going to be beneficial for you because you need protection. You need to be able to drop back turn meter, things like that. But for my case, I just have Duchess who somewhat protects, but only against AOE, not against single target, unless she places those perfect veils or veils and protects them so that she's the one taking the brunt of the damage. We're going to find out today if we can actually utilize this chick, Little Miss Annie, see how hard she smacks. Another thing to note is that my Little Miss Annie, unfortunately, does not have any books whatsoever. I did put her in the Soul Reap Blessing. If I get it to level 2, she's going to gain another 500 attack. This is amazing if I can get this maxed out. So, of course, she's not like the world's strongest Little Miss Annie or anything like that. But I'm going to try to see if maybe she changes my mind about her. I'm almost done with her blessing, with her uh, masteries, very, very close. But uh, at the end of the day, the only thing I'm going to be putting on for the last mastery is the counterattacks. So you know what? What I'll do is I'll complete her masteries and then we'll run right into Live Arena. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. We're just going to go ahead and slap on that mastery and then that'll complete her masteries so we can get some counterattacks as well. One thing I'm going to be concerned about is people placing more to Macabre because her passive is if she revives, she comes back and retaliates against the person who killed her. So if somebody puts a more to Macabre, more to Macabre is going to be a complete counter to her right from the get go because she does a triple hit on her A1. Every hit allows more to Macabre to potentially proc his passive ability. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting in like a triple reviver. Uh, and just having as much support built around her as possible. Preferably, you'd want somebody like, you know, if you if I had a chance to get a champion like Yumeko or potentially Warlord, then we would be Gucci. You know, we'd be fine. But I don't have Yumeko. I don't have Warlord. So I have to bring in like Triple Reviver, which means I'll need to do Pytheon. I'll need to do Duchess, Arbiter, and then I'll put her and then maybe I'll put Foley, something like that. And let's see what she can do. I mean, these are not easy opponents, okay? The opponents up here in Silver 2, Silver 3, when I get there, they're going to be challenging. And I'm free to play. And you can see already, they've got Ramantus, they've got Seafies, they've got everything crazy going on. So in my eyes, like, I'm going to ban Seafi, but he's going to be going so fast, I might have some struggles here. So I'm going to put in these two champions here. Foley and also Little Miss Annie. See how she can do. But again, what are they going to do? They're just going to ban my Foley. You know, look at what they've got going on here. Super meta champions. Sifi, you got Kaimar, you've got Rodos. Everybody seems to use Rodos. And they tend to put him last. Um, so what I'm going to end up doing then in this case, I'm still probably just going to ban Rodos. I think I'm just going to ban Rodos. And then hopefully we can come back and win this. But, you know, with all the strips that he's got going on, I could have a little bit of a problem and I don't have polymorph. So that's a little bit challenging too. you know, getting those blessings and stuff. It's harder for a free to play player uh, just in general. But hey, we're going to see what we can do. Can I showcase her or not? Um, she's going to be able to sleep and that's a big problem, too. Now, one thing against him is if he tries to sleep me, then Foley's going to potentially take a turn. 
And uh, there you go, fully removed it, got his passive. He could do a block passives ability. Um, let's see what happens. We've already taken a turn anyways. Wow, she's so fast that she was able to take a turn even before my fully. So that's an issue, okay? So that's a big, 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 big issue. Can I take a turn with my Pytheon first to reduce or remove that stupid debuff? Let's see. Again, they're so fast. I might not even be able to take a turn. And that's going to be a problem. So hopefully we can just get that those debuffs removed with Pytheon. Come on, Pytheon. Take a turn, buddy. There we go. So now we're just going to smack. And again, this isn't a Foley showcase, but you cannot put a single target damage dealer just by their lonesome without a Necrit, a Warlord, a Yumeko, a Sifi with Rhodos. You know, nobody really uses Little Miss Annie. So I'm just going to clap, obviously. But, um, you know... Still, I'm still going to be showcasing Little Miss Annie and how much damage she can just do in general. But, um, yeah, so we're we're doing pretty good. Let's put the increased attack on here. We've got the protection. He's not going to be able to do much. I'm just going to wipe out. Uh, let's just go ahead and wipe her out. Boom, 86k. She's gone. So Little Miss Annie does some decent damage. But again, you need a lot of protection to support your single target damage dealers in general. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Boom. Take her out. She's going to revive again. Let's see what happens here. No revive available. Okay. He did sleep everybody, which sucks. And then we're going to go ahead and do this. Heal up a little bit. I love Pytheon, man. He's so strong. Let's go ahead and do this. Boom, boom. And then, of course, let's just go ahead and take out the reviver. And then we've got the cleanup crew coming in. Honestly, I feel like so far, the first battle, we won. Not too bad. So we were able to take him out. But again, they didn't ban my Foley. All they had to do was ban my Foley, and I possibly could have lost that one um, because I wouldn't have been able to take a turn because of that Sifi taking so many shots with the single target sleep that I just probably wouldn't have been able to take a turn, maybe. But uh, I did have Pytheon and Stone Skin, so who knows? All right, we're going to do the same thing because that's all we can really do. That's, uh, that's all I can think of doing, to be honest, is putting Foley as like the backup nuker because I'm not trying to lose every single fight. You know, I'm trying to actually win here. So they do have Uko. Uko is a big, big problem for me. He's going to strip and do all that crazy stuff. But we're just going to go ahead and do the same team anyways. Pytheon, Duchess. We're going to put in Arbiter. Everybody typically bans my Arbiter because they don't want me to win the speed race. So for me against this team, depending on what he puts, I'm more than likely going to ban Uko. So... With the issue with Mortu Macabre, again, direct counter to Little Miss Annie. And you're probably going to see it here, is that when she if she dies from Mortu Macabre and then she retaliates when she revives and attacks him three times, it's going to allow him to potentially proc his Peril ability, which is a huge, huge problem. This time we're going to go ahead and put in this guy right here, and that is Uko. So the reason why we're putting Uko, or not Uko, um... Nishak. Nishak. So the reason why I have Nishak is bombs because he's probably going to have... I could put him in, but maybe not. Maybe I don't do that. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I don't do that. Maybe I just do this instead. I'll just do this instead. Foley. I could do bombs and make it easy and just try to win, but... Maybe I'll just make it difficult for myself here. She's going to remove debuffs. He's going to strip. So it's dependent on... Who's going to be faster, honestly? And I feel like Uko is the is the best way to go. And of course, he blocked my Foley. Smart thing to do there in general. Um, that's going to be a problem. But maybe, maybe we'll survive. Because I do have my speed here. I'm going to be faster. So I should be able to... I won't get buff stripped. And I should be able to take a turn at least. So we're going to speed up. We'll be able to take them out. Um, and plus, we have multiple champions with block debuffs on, right? So we're just going to A1 here, boom, and then she can only attack here, and we're just going to wipe out. Let's see if we can take her out with just increased attack. She does have increased defense on the Duchess, so let's see what happens. Boom, boom, smacked, absolutely smacked. Okay, not bad. What's he going to do? Is he going to quit? Nope, he's going to try to steal that, steal that uh, stone skin. He didn't steal the stone skin, but he was able to steal everything else. Let's go right here, place the weekend. We're going after Tuhana Rock next. Now, if he kills me... Okay, thank God. He's not very strong. All right, word. So I think we're good here. I think we actually might win this. 
let's see what happens let's go ahead and remove those <laughs> dang double cleanser is ridiculous or just one cleanser with a double uh block debuffs is pretty crazy so let's just do this weaken again let's go ahead attack her wait what's happening why is the game glitched oh there we go okay phew that was that was weird uh kind of lagged out there a bit okay so they're gonna take a turn again so we didn't do a ton of damage there but again i don't have savage or lethal but not a lot of people out there are gonna get like 6,900 attack with savage or lethal so the retaliation so that counterattack actually hurts us against Mortu Macabre. That's another reason why Mortu Macabre is a direct um, counter to her. And my biggest issue is I kind of need to hit Mortu Macabre. I think I might need to hit him. Or maybe I can go here instead, take him out. Let's take him out first. Okay. Um, let's speed ourselves up. I think he's going to have peril. That's not good. That is not good. He's going to kill. If he kills her, I might lose. Mm, oh, he didn't have peril. See how she keeps counterattacking him? So every time she counterattacks, it's a chance to peril. He just got unlucky there without the peril. Now I'm able to put the perfect veil for two turns. And I think I can take her out maybe. Not quite. So she does have increased defense. So we weren't able to take her out right away. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and we'll wait on that little cleanse there. Increase our attack again and increase our speed. Still going to focus on Tuhana Rock. Let's see what happens here. It's got the A1 on her, so we can't really do anything. And it looks like we're good here. But again, you have to put a ton of support around her. Let's see if we can take him out. Boom, boom. Smacked. All right. Not bad, guys. Not bad. There's a second win in a row. We're doing good with her. So far, we're doing good. Did she change my mind? Okay, was I wrong about Little Miss Annie? Or do I just have good champions to support her, right? So again, if I didn't have or you don't have these champions to support her, if you don't have Necrit, if you don't have Warlord, if you don't have Lockout champions to be able to actually take a turn with her and take multiple turns, then it's she's just not going to work, right? Because she's single target. She can't do it all on her own. She has to have the supporting champions. And this is the team that I believe that is going to work for her if you don't have Necrit, if you don't have Warlord to lock out, if you don't have Yumeko to lock out. I mean, Duchess obviously is huge, but if you don't have Duchess, you can put in Uko, right? You can put in Uko with her too. But the thing with Pytheon is, you know, Pytheon can help with mitigating damage. So that's, that's huge. Um, Uko is going to help with stripping those those buffs on the on the enemy team. But again, Uko, if they have more to Macabre, more to Macabre is a direct um, counter to Uko and Little Miss Annie. So you got to be very very careful with what you're doing. Now he does have Necrit here, so he's got a revive on death champion. I still want to block Uko. All right, I'm still going to block Uko. I'm going to put Foley. The reason why is because of this stupid revive on death champion. Okay. I don't, I don't want him to uh, come back to life. So if he doesn't block Foley, then he's kind of SOL. So let's see what he puts for the last spot. Even if he puts a Tormin, I should be fine. Okay, so we put in single target damage dealer. We're just going to go ahead and block Uko. And most people, again, like I said, most people block my Arbiter. But they don't realize that my Duchess is somewhat fast for free to play. It's double stone skin set too. 250 plus speed so it's not terrible i should be able to take a turn no the cardiel is built very quick so cardiels usually are built pretty fast in live arena like 260 to 290 maybe even 300 plus speed and the first thing he's probably going to do is place the okay he didn't do what i was thinking he decided to one shot me that's cool let's go ahead and place the veils and uh the thing with um this guy right here, Ragash, is he can play stuns. So I'm going to go ahead and do this so we don't get stunned. And he's going to go ahead and do ally attack as well. Almost killed me. We got the counter attack to heal ourselves up a little bit, which is nice. Can we get another ally attack from Pytheon? No, he just decided to protect his Mountain King. Okay, he just wrecked!
attacked me. Oh my god, Ragash is strong. Look at all these buffs. Look at all these buffs, man. Very, very, very strong champion. Holy crap. I probably should have held off on her revive then. I did not expect Ragash to be that strong. Dang. Increased crit damage, increased crit rate, increased defense. So he just has all the greatest buffs on him. And probably, I mean, I blocked Uko, which I felt like was a smart thing to do. I don't think we're going to survive, though. I don't think we're going to survive. Because Mountain Kings could hit a critical here. Yeah, he hit a crit. So if Mountain King didn't hit a crit, I think we should we would have been fine. But I might have just did bad on the banning process there. Maybe I should have banned um, Ragash. Because uh, I did not realize how strong Ragash truly is with all those buffs. He's a very, very powerful champion. And I'll make sure next time I don't make that mistake. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're still going to use the same team because obviously I don't think that many other teams would work with her unless you're building like double speed. So right off the bat, Baron, that kind of sucks. Probably going to block his Seafy. Oh uh, man, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. I mean, maybe I can go with Uko this time. Uko and Pytheon this time. Or Uko and Duchess. But Pytheon has a cleanse, just in case. Or I could go with uh, Ultimate Death Knight. Yeah, we're going to go with Ultimate Death Knight instead. Because we want to... I think that they're going to put in Rodos most likely, with Seafy. And Ultimate Death Knight is a direct counter to Rodos and Seafy. So... Probably one of the strongest champions in the entire game for defense and offense. Uh, so he ended up putting in Ultimate Death Knight too. Wow, okay. And he put in Uko as well. That's interesting. I could ban their Uko. They're going to put damage here. There's no reason why they wouldn't put damage here. Because if they go at speed, then they're going to get kind of screwed. I could just block their Seafy at that point. I could just do this um but it's a direct counter so like i would need what could i do i would definitely need i would have to ban this because he's a he's gonna counter her maybe i'll just go with this maybe i'll just do this instead they'll block my speed right if they block my knee shack then i'm kind of screwed either way doesn't matter because Ultimate Death Knight's a huge counter. It's a little Miss Annie. And um, I think all they really need to do is block my Nishak and they win. See, I figured that would happen with uh, Rodos in the end. I could just block her or Baron. If I just block Baron, maybe I'll be okay. If I block Baron. Mmm. Or I could block Uko. Dang, man. You know what? Let's just do Uko versus Uko. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought he was going to block my Nishak. Oh, no. Unless he's crazy fast with his Uko. I think I just won. See, the, the, that's why banning process is so crazy. Okay, so he does have double stone skin. Or triple, actually. But it doesn't matter. It's over. It's over, guys. It's over, son. Ding, ding. All right, so uh, <laughs> I didn't even need Miss Annie. That's too easy. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, he should have blocked Nishak. He would have won. Because if he had... Like, the smart thing is, like, if you have all stone skin champions, then you, you need to ban the Nishak. Like, Nishak's so overpowered. Like, he's just such a crazy champion. You need to ban Nishak. Because all you need to build on Nishak is speed, accuracy, and attack. That's it. That's all you need. Speed, accuracy, attack on Nishak. And he's going to be a freaking beast for you. Like, he will just be absolutely demolishing people for you. Again, we're just going to go with uh, our typical team. This time he has Pytheon. So it's hard because he's picking first. I'm picking second. So it's harder for me. Anytime you pick second, it's a little bit uh, more of a struggle for you. So in my eyes, Pytheon's not a huge threat. I can definitely wipe him out. It's just dependent on the next two. So for now, I could go with Uko and then my own Pytheon. 
for Uko and her, Duchess. Maybe I just go with Pytheon for now. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Pytheon actually because I want to determine if I need a Uko in my team, depending on what he places. Because if you put Uko too soon, if somebody has a Mortu Macabre, for example, they're going to directly counter with that Mortu Macabre, typically next or last. So in this case, it's hard to tell. So they do have a Duchess plus one, plus one Pytheon. Um, Gaius the Gleeful, very strong champion as well. So we definitely need a, a cleanser, right? The thing with Gaius though, he only has a two-turn bomb with sleeps. Luckily, the bombs will be the only thing that can land on stone skin, but the other debuffs cannot land through stone skin, which means sleep will not sleep my Pythion, so I can cleanse still. The issue is going to be if he puts Nishak. However, if he puts Nishak, I'll probably ban him. So in this case, I could do a couple different things. I could put my Uko because he's probably going to be in stone skin. And then I can put my little Miss Annie. So we're just going to do o Uko. Okay. I could have picked wrong. I, I could have made a mistake here. He's got, of course, he's got Hegemon. That's a tough one because you don't know if they're going to have Hegemon or something else like that. Um, in this case, I'm probably going to run Nishak because bombs, and then I could just simply ban Hegemon. But if I ban him, like he I can cleanse, but if he's going to be too fast, he's going to place the, he's going to be able to place the block debuffs. If he, all he needs to do is ban my Uko at that point. So it's either one or the other. Probably just going to ban Duchess. Okay, so he was smart. He banned my Nishak. See, that's what the other person should have done last. Um, now, I do have a lot of support. And he doesn't have block revive. But he could have a nuke Hegemon, which could end up wiping me out right away. So she's definitely going to die. Wow, she didn't die. I'm very, very, very surprised. Um, and he doesn't have... He does not have stone skin on either of his champions here so i can decrease their attack we can go ahead and remove that we can go ahead and wipe somebody out right now uh let's just try to wipe out Pyth pytheon so pytheon's dead she does die we're gonna bring her back to life she's gonna counter attack and use that passive boom 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 almost took him out kills her again let's do another revive in a second here let's just take out this wonderful hefrak first all right now he's gonna try to place bombs that's okay though we're gonna go ahead and revive in a second here uh, we can wait for a second, though. Let's decrease their accuracy first. Let's do a revive. Uh, she can't attack because her passive is only going to attack the person who killed her last. So now we're going to go ahead and smack him. Boom. Dead. Uh, the bombs do go off. No big deal. Let's revive again. And then let's go ahead and do this. And full auto. We are golden. Let's go. We smacked. All right. No big deal. So that wasn't bad. I mean... He was smart to ban my Nishak, but I, I figured he would have been in stone skin. If he had stone skin on his champions, he would have done much better in my eyes. But um, but not bad there. I actually won a lot of them. More than I expected that I was going to win. So did she change my mind? Did she change your mind? Do you think that little Miss Annie is actually a very strong champion in Live Arena? I mean, I only lost one battle, right? Or maybe two. Um, so... 7.8 million, 13 million, a little bit more than me, 11.2, close to me, 7.9, 11.4, 5.9, for player power that is, that's what I'm looking at, 13.4, a little bit higher than me, so they did beat me, um, 12.9, just below me, 14.1, a little bit higher than me, by a million player power, so I faced some pretty strong opponents here, you know, they weren't weak, they weren't anything to overlook, you know, area bonus wise, I can go ahead and now upgrade. So for area bonuses, what am I going to upgrade next? I have been focusing on Hydra a little bit. I have been focusing on Dragon because I'm trying to do some solo uh, compositions or try to help upgrade certain champions that I have like Bad Elkazar. And uh, yeah, like I don't have Staltus to help uh, to send those debuffs right back to the attacker or whatnot. But yeah, anyways, let me go ahead and save. I'm actually just going to save my, my crests for now. Let me know what you guys think of Little Miss Annie in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it. Really appreciate all you guys' support. Uh, trying to get to 2.5K subscribers would be pretty awesome. And only you guys can do that for me. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week.
take care.